know, for the first time in a really long time, I, I'm, I'm taking this moment in. Just before Creed 3 hit theaters this weekend, Michael B. Jordan got his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <laughs> I don't know what to do now, thanks. <laughs> and he had his latest boxing opponent, Jonathan Majors, in his corner this time around, and his best bud and best director, Ryan Coogler. I can talk about this guy all day. Um, it's amazing to be here uh, with, with Mike. Ryan and Michael met about a decade ago when they had a first meeting to discuss what would become their first collaboration and Ryan's first feature-length film, Fruitvale Station, in 2013. I remember thinking, man, this, this, I hope this dude wants to do this movie because it feels like he's going places, man. Well, they were both going major places and getting there together. So two years later, they collaborated on Creed. And how did he do it, man? He killed it. Killed it on Creed. Then came Black Panther in 2018. And when Ryan hits that part of his speech, you can see both Ryan and Michael come a bit more somber. And, um, and then it came time for, for, for Black Panther. You know, um, got to work with our incredible... Our incredible brother Chadwick, who I feel like is 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 is, is, uh, is smiling on us right now, um, getting to watch them battle every day. Watch this next moment really closely. I found it a really powerful one. Um, so yeah, obviously both guys are a little bit choked up here and fighting some emotion. And watch Michael uh, looking at Ryan. Like he can't even see Ryan's face, but Michael just realizes at a certain point that Ryan just needs a little bit of support. Getting to watch them battle every day, I knew I was looking at something special. I, I, I felt like um, I felt like I was looking at like Denzel and and, and Will or or, or 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 Wesley in their primes and in the same movie in a way that we never got to see them do it. You know, back at that time, and uh, man, those guys pushed themselves every day, and uh, and I knew it was going to connect. You know, I just didn't know how much, um, but I felt like the luckiest director on the planet every day on that set. When it came Michael's time to speak, he first gave major props to Ryan, who has written and directed all of Michael's notable films so far. Cool has always been in my corner. He's always been something to me. He's always seen something in me and pushed me to dream bigger of myself. So to say I appreciate you, Ryan, would be an understatement. My gratitude to you for believing in me and for empowering me with this, church, with this third chapter of Creed is never ending. And while Michael acknowledged the impact of working alongside Chadwick, that fire inside of me like led to opportunities on All My Children, The Wire, Friday Night Lights. And then of course having the opportunity to work opposite the remarkable talent of Chadwick Boseman and Black Panther. I think it's Michael's willingness to kind of stop and savor and take in this Hollywood Walk of Fame ceremony that we really see the lasting impact of Chadwick on Michael. The people that really know me, I often say, man, I don't deserve this, you know. I mean, it seems very, um, I don't know. When you're constantly on, the, on a journey, I very rarely stop and like smell the roses and like take in moments. I'm always moving on to the next thing. Uh, from this fleeing feeling of time slipping away from me. And you know, for the first time in a really long time, I, I, I'm, I'm taking this moment in. And wouldn't you know it, I just discovered that 10 days before the ceremony, Michael articulated on The View what Chadwick taught him. That's what he left for us, you know, just every moment that you get, make the most of it. You know, yeah. life is short and you have so a limited amount of time with your people that you love and the things that you love to do. So make it worth it and make it yeah. count. So that's what I carry with me as I, as I move yeah. forward. So he's a, he's a special person. Those two guys, Michael and Ryan, are two of the best guys. Like, I mean, they're insanely talented, insanely smart, empathetic, and aren't afraid of their emotions. I love that they rose together and I hope they continue to work together as much as possible because they just do great work together. What are your thoughts on Michael getting his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and both he and Ryan's speeches? I'm taking this in, so thank you. <laughs>